In this next lesson, we're going to look at how to do compound interest, a really quick method. Now, you don't have to do this method in the exam. What I always say is, do the method that you're comfortable with and you can remember. But you can work out compound interest basically in one line. In order to do this, you must first understand powers or indices as they're called. In this first uh, example we have at the top here, we see that 6 times 6 times 6 can be written as 6 cubed or 6 to the power of 3. We've already met squaring and cubing before, but this is what this means, this V3 at the top. It doesn't mean 6 times 3, it means 6 times 6 times 6. The examples down below are just the same idea. 3 times 3 equals 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 in mathematics can be written as 5 to the power of 5, because there's 5 fives. We've got t times t times t, which is t cubed. We've got m times m times m times m, which is m to the power of 4, because there's 4 m's multiplied. And the same can be done with decimals. 1.04 times 1.04 is 1.04 squared. And 1.065 times 1.065 times 1.065 is 1.065 cubed. Okay, so hopefully you understand that and we can move on. So let's look at the compound interest uh, quick method. What we have here on the screen is we have Andy again investing £600 for four years. And we show the work we did uh, before to do this calculation to come out with your £675.31. At that point, we still had to do a takeaway to work out the compound interest, which was £75.31. But we can basically get from this to year four's answer in one line. We would still have to do the takeaway, but we can do this in one line, which is really useful. So because you're multiplying by 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03, we're essentially doing what we did in the last screen. We're doing 1.03 to the power of 4. So that can be written down like this. Um, 600 times 1.03 to the power of 4, and you come out with £675.31. So a compound interest, you do your takeaway to get your final answer. But you can see there, four lines has been shortened to one. Again, I would only do this if you're very comfortable with it and not if you just try to remember it for quickness and then you fall apart in the exam and you can't remember the multiplier, you can't remember the power and, and so on. So how do you type it into your calculator? Well, there's a variety of ways to type it into your calculator. Make sure you know how to do it before the exam. But you can do 600 times 1.03, this wee hat in a 4, that will be a power of 4. You can use y to the x in the 4, that's uh, in some calculators it looks like this, or you can have this wee button here, um, that's the power button, so, and then there are 4. So any of those methods will, will do that for you. 